All right, we're recording. I am. I've got a box of Marvel Universe. I've already opened a couple, so um, we're gonna open just uh, how about a stack of these, just to see what we got here, see what we can get out of here. Want to open them? See what we got. Let's we'll take a look at 1991. This is my childhood. Um, when I was a kid, these were like 50 cents a pack, maybe a dollar, and every kid in the school was buying them. And then we would trade for them to see if we could, you know, complete sets. And uh, I think I was 10 or 11 years old at the time when these were super popular. Look at that, like limited time offer offer expense you could get a checklist card yeah you had to mail it in and you'd get a checklist card so you could prove out which ones you had and which ones you didn't have here let me go turn on some light get a little more light in here all right let's open this pack up and see what we got they are uh a soft plastic pack. They uh, includes full 12 color cards. So look at that. First off the line is the Punisher Van superhero. So the interesting thing was they had like little football stats in the back. It'd give like, um, as you can see, like this is the Punisher's Van number card. card. I have a little did you know, a little blurb about the Van itself, and then some type of uh, performance sets, very reminiscent of a sports card at the time. Most valuable comic, the Chameleon Strike, Amazing Spider-Man. Again, some statistics in the back. It'd give you the publishing date. Very cool. We got the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four. A famous battle. Spider-Man versus Hobgoblin. The cards really nice looking, um, fairly centered. The corners are perfect. We got a team picture in the Fantastic Four. The old Silver Era. We got Beast from the X-Men. We have uh, X-Men versus the Freedom Force. I don't remember the Freedom Force too much. Obviously, the Freedom Force had uh, the blob is the only one I'm recognizing. I'll have to look into these guys a little bit more. Oh, this was an actually really cool thing. This was a Spider-Man Presents. He would interview um, superheroes, and they had these little funny comics with them. Um, it, I, I liked this series. I wish there was an actual comic with this series. I think this would have been a really cool comic idea. There's an X-Men uh, team picture. You got like Rogue and I think Shadowcat and Nightcrawler and Colossus and Storm with the Mohawk, Cyclops. I think that's Jean Grey. I don't know. Um, Phoenix. Uh huh. Very good. We got Domamaru. He's from the uh, Doctor Strange movie. Though he, Don Amaru was a different uh, kind of guy in the Strange movie. Um, another one of these uh, Spider-Man Presents with Wolverine, apparently. Not, not many words from Wolverine. There you go. We got a Hulk versus Wolverine. I think they actually made a movie out of this, too. I like how they do a lot of times the Hulk is some gray Hulk. Um, version of himself. Uh, let's see. I think in the comic movie that they did, it was an animated movie. They actually, Deadpool was also part of that movie, which I think is interesting. Um, let's see what we got. We got Cloak from Cloak and Dagger. They did a TV show about this not too long ago, I think. I don't know if it was any good. I think it was on Hulu. Electra, she, uh, I guess she's a superhero. When I was a kid, I always thought she was a bad guy. Um, Doctor Strange being interviewed by Spider-Man. Uh, 
That's interesting. You got a famous battle between Daredevil and the Punisher. I always liked... This was always funny to me because, like, you'd always have two superheroes or, you know, the hero side of the thing uh, fighting each other. All right, we got a supervillain in Galacticus. His scale is a little bit not um, really represented very well. I think this helps. He's 28 feet tall, but it's variable. And he's 18 tons. He's pretty big. Enchantress. This was one of the sexy cards of the the series. You had uh, Enchantress. She was a an arch nemesis of Thor, apparently. Mandarin, who is a villain in I think the Iron Man comics. Hey, there's Green Hulk. Oh, famous battle. This is X Men versus Apocalypse. Uh, Iron Man versus Titanium Man. I don't know a lot about Titanium Man. There's X Factor. I think that's Archangel. I'm not sure. It looks like Iceman, Cyclops, Beast. Let's see. What do we got? Beast, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Archangel. Yeah, Iceman. Very cool. And uh looks like a Thor comic, right? Yep. Mysteries. Journey into Mystery. Introducing the Mighty Thor. I like these most valuable comic series. So there's only like a hundred and sixty or maybe hundred and forty four um cards in the series. So it was a fairly easy series to um to uh collect all of. Oh, look at that. We got a Magneto foil right off the bat. Look at that. These were stickers originally. Um, oh, look at that. That's, that's perfect. You can get, see if we can get that full foil effect there. Um, and little Spider-Man in the back there shows which ones there are. Um, these were unnumbered cards. Uh, very cool. These are these were highly sought after when I was a kid. Wolverine was the big one. Everybody wanted a Wolverine. I wanted the Silver Surfer because I thought he was the coolest. You have non Mohawk Storm, Captain America, superhero versus superhero versus Wolverine. Who do you think would win that fight? Who do you think did win that fight? Uh, apparently, uh, the alliance ended when Wolverine disappeared in the forge. Uh, I guess they probably had a battle for a while and then joined forces. Yep. Yep. And then Wolverine took off. Aunt May has a superhero. I feel like that's a cop out, though. I guess she was um, part of Peter's uh, part of Peter's um, conscience. Daredevil versus Wolverine. I think Daredevil is pretty cool, but I think Wolverine has the edge there. Super healing is pretty great. Um, amazing fantasy Spider-Man. I think that's like a very very famous cover. Invisible Woman, Susan Storm, or Susan Richards, all right. Susan Richards, yeah. Oh, Susan Storm was her maiden name. Yeah. I haven't watched any of those uh, movies. Power Man. Rookie. Nomad. I don't recognize Nomad. I remember thinking, like, he's a rookie in 1990. I don't. I didn't know who he was. Um, I don't know if he managed to survive the comic world and if he's still around in 2020. Yeah, Table of Suspense, another Iron Man comic. Oh, Nightcrawler was one of my favorites. I'm turning it upside down, but it doesn't need to be. I always liked his ability. His his uh, teleport's pretty rad. And then uh, we have the Avengers. Looks like Thor and 
She-Hulk and Vision and Quasar, Captain America. Don't know who that is. A girl named Cersei. I have to look her up. I don't know who she is. Interesting. All right. So, well, well we nailed a hologram card. That's pretty cool. Out of the first series. That was that was a little unexpected. Uh, I won't lie. Let's see what we got here. We got X-Men. X-Men. Most Valuable Comic Insert. Oh, Rookie Ghost Rider 1990. This is a valuable rookie. Look at this. I can't imagine that this would even... I don't know if they'd even reprint this. I like Nazi symbol. They'd probably tell us that... Fall of Mutants. This looks like a famous battle. It looks like a... Probably a bad moment for them. Maybe. Uh, the Spider-Man versus a Punisher. Your real name? Not Punisher. Is your real name Frank Castle? Yes, but I prefer Francis. Of course he does. Lockheed. He's a dragon of some sort. He's a superhero. I'm not familiar with Lockheed. Lockheed is from the uh, group Excalibur. Oh, it's tied to Shadowcat. Mr. Sinister, I remember him from the comic book, or the morning cartoon, X-Men morning cartoon, back when I was a young kid. Dr. Octopus, Spider-Man Presents. Oh, here's another rookie, Fool's Killer. He, uh... There's a lot of, like, gun toters back in the 1990s, as the rookies ago, I guess. He, um... His first appearance was in his own self-named comic. I wonder if he survived. We'll have to look into him later. We got Iron Man. One of the most famous comic book guys of all time now, right? Like, almost probably more famous than Spider-Man at this point. Colossus and the Mighty Thor. With his... Big old meal near hammer. Let's see what else we can get. I feel like we're uh, we're needing a Spider-Man or a Venom or something. We haven't had a Wolverine or a Spider-Man or a Venom. We need one of those. Oh, look at this. This is um, Thor versus Loki on the Rainbow Road. <laughs> I think we've seen this fight in the movies. Hey, look at She-Hulk. She was always a diva. Sexy She-Hulk. I think smart, too. I think she was a lawyer. Dazzler. She, uh, she's quite the Dazzler. Captain Britain. I wonder if he was as strong as Steve Rogers. Oh, Dr. Octopus, super villain. Look at that. The Wasp. She was an Avengers, right? She has group affiliation. Janet Van Dyne. That's not the Wasp that we know um, from the uh, from the uh, more recent movies with Ant Man, The Incredible Hulk, Wolverine with a like super scuzzy look to him like old patch logan wolverine patch very cool famous battle we got uh saber tooth versus wolverine there you go we got the magneto um uh, base card to go with our um hologram put that over there Got Cyclops using his laser eyes. And then another valuable comics. Captain America, and I think it's 136. It doesn't tell you how many, out of how many. We just know that we're getting close. I'll have to start looking at the backs there. Let's see, we got pack number five, I think. Man, you get a lot of cards in this set, you know. Um, attack Atlantis attacks 
Oh, this must be something to do with like um, uh, when Silver Surfer number two, Iron Man number ten, X Men thirteen. So this was like a big crossover. Where Earth, outer space. Okay, to escape the mystic exile and conquer Earth, which had been ruled before recorded history, the demon set enlisted the aid of the evil Atlanteans, Lord Gathar, and the Empress Lyra. To hide their conspiracy, the two undersea tyrants sent the armies of Atlantis to attack the surface world while they reassembled the serpent crowned. Set, wasn't he a um, Egyptian god too? The first, first Cree crawl war. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't I didn't know anything about this, but now growing up, we're, I'm much older now, and I think it's funny, I actually got to see a movie, um, the whole Ronin uh, situation was a pretty big deal. Yeah, free Cree soldiers, cross soldiers, I wonder if they even mention Ronin anywhere in here. Um... Avengers, I don't think they say anything about Ronan here, but, and also like, um, Guardians of the Galaxy is not really mentioned here either, but the, uh, Ronan looks to be like, like right there, right? What a nightmare. Sorry, that was weird. Anyhow. We have the New Warriors rookie. That's a whole team of rookies. Um, I liked these comics when I was growing up. I don't know why. Probably because they were rookies and they were comic. And I remember thinking Night Thrasher was pretty sweet. Nova was... Um, I I thought he could be cool. I never really liked him. But Speedball I thought was awesome because he had a really cool power. I thought would be cool. Hey, look at that. Guardians of the Galaxy. Though I don't recognize any of these people as Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's see. You have Charlie, 27, which I'm not familiar with. Um, Martinex, not familiar with. Major Vance Astro, not familiar with. Yon, Yondu. I do remember Yondu. This this is Yondu. Yondu was a different kind of character in the uh, Star Hawk. Nikki and Alerta. So I, think, um, I think Guardians of the Galaxy went through a severe change into all the movies. Oh, look at that. Apocalypse. He is an iconic character in my childhood. Uh, Silver Surfer Spider-Man Presents. A Moon Knight with a sweet white background. Uh, Dagger from Cloak and Dagger, which we have the pairing now. Spider-Man Presents Magneto. Um, Hulk versus Spider-Man. Hulk is wearing... What looks to be some form of suit. Um, interesting. And then Loki. And his green and yellow suit. Very cool. Let's see what else we got here. I know recently um, these... These uh, these old packs have been getting kind of expensive on eBay. Really, really starting to get very expensive. Um, Electro, a nice villain from Spider-Man. The X-Men. I think I recognize most of these people. I wonder if Gambit is in here or if was he made by the um, cartoon. Nope, he was here. There's Gambit. Banshee, Storm, Jubilee. Wolverine. I think maybe these were made by the... I don't know. Maybe they weren't. Um, famous Battles. Fantastic Four versus Doctor Doom. Famous Battles. Silver Surfer versus Thanos. Silver Surfer could have definitely helped against Thanos, I think. Another famous battle. Daredevil versus Kingpin. That seems like a fairly famous battle. It's like probably happened a lot. Wow, this is like the famous battle um, pack. Got famous battle Daredevil versus Bullseye. Very cool. I used to like Daredevil a lot. I think I liked his outfit. The color scheme was pretty cool. And I think think his pretty much his 
abilities were pretty cool too. Team Picture, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, The House of M, uh, Havoc. I think he's like uh, Cyclops' brother, right? Yeah, Alex Summers, Black Panther. Um, recently, uh, the actor who played Black Panther passed away. So that's uh, that's too bad. I think I think he was doing a very good job. Punisher, but this isn't the van. This is the actual Punisher, I believe. Hey, there's a Spider-Man and Venom together in a famous battle. Spider-Man versus Venom, probably one of the more famous battles. Another famous battle, Dark Phoenix Saga. Yeah, this pretty this movie has ruined the um, X-Men movies pretty much every time they try to do it. <laughs> Um, hopefully they will stop doing that. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a... Oh, it looks like a comic. Is this on Spider-Man Presents? Yeah. Oh, they're double-sided here. That's pretty cool. We'll have to we'll look at this one at the end. But let's, uh, let's see what we got. Ultron. Ultron looks a lot different than the movie, too, but he was pretty awesome and pretty scary. Iceman, kind of Silver Surfer-y looking, but Iceman from the X-Men. Nick Fury, uh, Samuel Black, sorry, Samuel Jackson uh, did a better job, and I actually think I prefer a Black Nick Fury. Miss Marvel or Jean Grey, right? Uh, Armor Wars. What's this? Armor Wars, famous battle. Um, let's see. Iron Man versus the Beetle, Stilt Man, Controller, Stingray, Guardian, Mandroid, basically all his enemies at once, maybe. Crazy. You got the Stan Lee card. He's passed away now, too. But, He's like got all the things like uh, Reed Richards, the whole Fantastic Four on his hands, Spider-Man, Captain America, Top Hat, Daredevil. Very interesting. He's got all like basically every character ever, or maybe just uh, all the characters that he created. Oh, and it's got a real picture of him in the back too. That's so cool. Actually, I'm going to put that aside. I like that one. Spider-Man vs. Dr. Octopus. Probably a pretty super famous battle. We got X-Men vs. our giant, most valuable comic. Giant size X-Men uh, issue. 50 cents. Silver Surfer card. I hope we can pull the hollow of that. That'd be cool. Um, Rogue. Fantastic Four versus Galacticus. With Silver Surfer, apparently. That sounds pretty good. And then there's this Iron Man. Spider-Man presents. Iron Man. As a millionaire playboy, Tony Stark, you've got money, women, power. Is there anything you don't have? A can opener. Get me out of here. Yeah. That's kind of funny. What's the back say? You've got so many... Foes, the Mandarin, the Crimson Diamond. Which one is your greatest enemy? Frost, man. Tony Stark, he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Rust, of course. I'm sure that's a comic, too. I'm sure they probably created Rust Man to try to stop uh, Tony Stark. All right, we got another famous battle Black Spider Man. And Craven. Maybe it's Black Suit Spider Man. Uh, Fantastic Four versus the X Men. That's. I think this one must have been when they actually went to the island um, of Magneto, right? Didn't they go together? Let's see. Uh, Shadowcat was dying. The X-Men sought to save their teammate by asking Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four to help. However, a series of misunderstandings turned the two groups against each other. To make matters worse, the 
evil Dr. Doom callously exploited the situation. Saving Shadow Cat's life became a test of wills between Mr. Fantastic and Dr. Doom. Mr. Fantastic ultimately saved Shadow Cat. In the end, the heroes learned that Dr. Doom had manipulated the crisis from the start and attempted to destroy the... We got Sandman from Spider-Man. Not really all that great of a character in my opinion. Ah, another rookie. 1990 Deathlock. I think he actually survived for quite some time. I think Deathlock might actually be a fairly um, still popular. We got our first Spider-Man. Black costume Spider-Man. Venom Spider-Man. He's, he's a number two card in the series. I wonder who's number one. Um, Avengers comic, most valuable comic. Punisher, most valuable comic. Ah, another Wolverine. This is classic looking Wolverine. Well, I guess, I feel like it's pretty classic looking Wolverine. A little less blue and yellow, but still pretty classic Wolverine, right? C number one? No, number ten. You got super villain, Kingpin. You got creepy Wolverine <laughs> in the most valuable comic. It's a 60 cent comic. There you go. You got Shadow Cat and our little dragon, which we've seen earlier. I wonder how. I, how old? I remember when I was a kid, I, I had the biggest crush on Shadow Cat. Probably because she looked like Debbie Gibson or something. Or Tiffany. I don't know. One of those girls. I was 11. Act of Vengeance, famous battles. All like the mega superheroes. You had like Magneto, um, Mandarin, Loki, Kingpin, Doctor Doom, Red Skull. Who's this? The leader? Who's that? Who is that? Kingpin, right? And the Wizard. Huh. All right. Let's see what we got. We got. Five more picks. Six more picks. So let's see what we got. I'm going to put one more of these um, holograms. Come on. Give me a hologram. First card. No. Nope. Let's see what we got. We got a famous battle. Well, we're starting to get duplicates now. So Dr. Octopus. We got a giant size X-Men. Our Silver Surfer. Yeah. Rogue. We've seen this one. Um, Iron Man. Hey, cloak again, different spot, Electro. I think they're clumped or cut the same way because, like, I think we, yeah, that, every one of these cards was a duplicate. That's kind of a bummer. But maybe I have the complete set. Oh, look at that. I don't know if we had him. Oh, no, we, we did have a Venom, didn't we? Oh, no, I don't think we had this one. Well, we did have this one. We did have this one. I think we had the exact same order. Yeah. Yeah, we just like litter. Oh, Mephisto. This is a new one. Didn't have Mr. Fantastic. Didn't have Alpha Flight. Team picture. Evolutionary War. Interesting. Famous battle. I'm not familiar enough with this one. It was versus High Evolution. The enigmatic and incredible power, incredibly powerful high evolutionary believe that mankind's evolution was at the critical threshold. And his opportunity to transform all mankind into mutants was now. Callously disregarding pain and suffering and devastation, suffered were caused, the high evolutionary began his act. Earth's most powerful superheroes united to stop him. Though the high evolutionary's overall plan was defeated, the legacy of his efforts continue. Affect mankind. The Sinister Sticks, which is, and then Venom. I don't know if we've gotten this card already, but he's pretty cool. He's not really all that centered, though. You know what I mean, like, definitely wouldn't grade this one. Um, Okay, we've gotten this card before, and this one, and this one, and this one, this one, and we got most of the, hey, there's the leader, 
We haven't gotten this one before. It's got the big brain. Saber tooth. Hey, Spider Man. Super Spider Man. It's Cosmic Spider Man. That's cool. Cosmic Spider Man. Super powerful. Super Spider Man. The thing. Bullseye. Super villain. That's cool. I like this guy. That card's cool, too. Look at that. Silver Surfer versus Mephisto. Famous battle. So we are still pulling some different cards that we haven't seen yet. I'll go through and I'll sort these out and I'll put them into a nice binder so I can keep them and treasure them for always this time. Um, the Mandarin. The Hulk, which I think we have had. X-Factor. Iron Man versus Titanium Man. X-Factor Team. Journey into Mystery Thor comic. The Hellfire Club. Look at, I remember those two girls were sexy girls back when I was a kid. Um, yeah, they, they, I think this was a first class, right? Magneto, Black, Black King, Sebastian Shaw, White Queen, and Black Queen. Very cool. Then you had the X Men versus Magneto, Lizard, Spider Man villain, Archangel. Uh, Apocalypse. Oh, I guess he's a hero. I thought he was Apocalypse. Um, I guess he was being controlled. Captain America versus Red Skull. Who's this guy in the back there? Excalibur. Apparently, Excalibur had um was British. Interesting. Professor X, oh, we don't have that one, or this one. We didn't get a Doctor Doom. Cool. Baron Zemo, he looks a lot different than the movie version. The Blob. People are trying to shoot him and nothing's happening. Spider-Man presents Thor. Phoenix, she looks mad. Captain America presents the Hulk. Thor versus... Sutar. It's the Marvel Superman. <laughs> Quasar. The New Mutants. This is a movie out right now. And I've heard it's terrible. Oh, look at that. Daredevil. See number one? No, oh, number four. I liked his Netflix show. And Professor X. This is not centered very well either. It's got a really far cut over on the side there. Lincoln. He's pretty amazing, Professor X. Put together one of the most powerful superhero teams ever. Oh, look at that. We got a Doctor Strange card. That guy looks just like Benjamin, Cum Benjamin Cumberbatch, right? Oh, nice super villain, Green Goblin. Spider Man Enemy. A uh, new uh, most valuable comic. Yeah, and High Evolutionary. We just seen the uh, fight of that guy. Let's see another Spider Man. That's what, three Spider Mans in this series. High Evolutionary. It has managed to evolve himself to a higher plane of consciousness, giving him cosmic awareness. He has a terrible win percentage. Huh. He's poorly centered too. This is a badly centered Spider Man. Just normal Spider Man. Oh, his win percentage is low too. Spider Man apparently gets his ass kicked a lot. Nick Fury versus Hydra. Nick Fury's cool. The Hulk. Another Hulk. He's gray again. I don't understand this. Oh, wait. Actually, specify that he's gray. The Gray Hulk was employed for a while as an enforcer for a Las Vegas casino. That's interesting. Cloak and Dagger. Black Cat. She's a suit. Yeah, she's a villain. That's weird. Cause I thought she was Spider Man's friend. She's um. She is. 
Glisha Hardy. Storm Mohawk. X Men in the Savage Lands. This is the this is the one where I thought they met the the uh, this is where they fight the dinosaurs and stuff. Long shot. Who's long shot? I don't know. I recognize long shot. Apparently he's a X. He's an X Men. And then Doctor Strange. Benjamin Cumberbatch. Real name is Stephen Strange. Very cool. Yeah, we're getting into some cards that we haven't seen yet. But that's cool. No, we've only pulled one hologram. That's a bummer. Really would. Really hoping to pull another one. Alright. Here's another one. Mole Man. These cards have been terribly off center. Oh, Captain America on a bike. Oh, this is probably his bike, right? Like his his um thirty one. Look at that. Thirty one. So the very first card. Oh, I think we got it. We have number one. The first card in the checklist. Oh, there's some is Captain America. How many cards are there? There are 162 cards. And we have 161. So I'll have to go through and see if I get all 106. I guess there's technically five more after that. The holograms. Very cool. Got a checklist card, which is a card. We'll have to look at that. We got the Juggernaut. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. Uh, Spider-Man versus Green Goblin. Thing versus the Hulk. Thanos. Thanos. Let's see. It's a little off-centered. A little too much on the top, but pretty cool. He's a he's a pretty good one. He first appeared in Iron Man. Thanos is responsible for the death of the hero known as Adam Warlock. X-Men vs. Adventures. Captain America presents... Or, Spider-Man presents Captain America. Hey, a new, another Wolverine. This is more of the typical Wolverine. Aquaman. Wrong character. Wrong, um... Wrong world. Or wrong universe. I wonder if they have the Weapon X, then. Um, so, Mariner. Spider-Man Presents. Well, that's where we're going to stop it for now. That's a lot.